Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm a Keysight Applications Engineer here on Friday afternoon. So um, I'm going to show you how to set up a Keysight InfiniVision X to trigger on a 60 hertz squelch. All right, so we have 60 hertz going, 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 and you turn it off and presumably it does this. Okay, hopefully this is what you guys are looking for. Um, so let's take a look at the scope now. This is more or less what we might expect to see. Now we might, you could have some spikes here, and there's not a trigger that's built specifically for this on these scopes. There are uh, so-called window trigger on the Infinium scopes, but the trigger we want to use is a very simple logic pattern trigger with timeout. So I can hit the, to get there, I set my trigger button, I hit the trigger button. Oh, so I'm already on that menu. And I'll scroll, I'll use this knob to get down to my pattern trigger. But before I even do that, what I want to do is I want to set, go to edge on the channel I'm using and adjust the threshold, okay, so that it's above the baseline noise of the scope, okay, and at the same time, you know, we can call it off, okay. Um, so that's how I set the trigger threshold. Then I want to go down to my pattern, okay, and what I want to do is I want to set the, set it to a timeout. And I want to set channel one to to be low, so or zero. So if it's below that threshold, and with the timeout less than a full period, one over 60 hertz is about 16.67. I chose 16.8 milliseconds. So then the other important thing is to put the scope. We press the mode coupling hard key into normal mode as opposed to auto. If I hit if I hit auto, it'll just keep going, it'll force an tri internal trigger. So now with normal, I've got my function generator on, I'm going to mimic a, uh, a squelch event or a turn off event by simply disconnecting the BNC. Now let's hit single so it doesn't go again. And there we go. So, hope that's what you guys are looking for. Pretty straightforward way to do it. Um, and it's a hardware trigger, so it should be very reliable. Yeah. Have a good weekend guys.